Hi, everybody. You are watching Audio Tree Live. Welcome back. My name is Rita Lucia. Today's date is Monday, June 19th, 2023. We have an amazing show for you today. In the studio, we have the Mountain Grass Unit, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. The session you're about to hear is available right now through your favorite streaming platform. So please follow us over there. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. We really want you to be able to keep up with all of the new and exciting talent we discover just for you. Just like this band here, the Mountain Grass Unit. Whenever you're ready, take it away. This next song is called uh, Jericho, also off our uh, album Places I've Been that we put out last summer. Uh, that song you just heard was Shoot the Gun, and uh, I guess we're ready to roll with it. Y'all boys ready? Mm -hmm. roll.
Chicago boys, it's great to have you here in the Audio Tree Studio. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to be, glad here. to be here. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? We're doing all right. Uh, we had a little bit of a slip up. Um, came to Chicago uh -huh. yesterday and found out our van needed new tires, so we actually Ubered here. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, I saw three country boys stepping out of Uber XL outside the studio. I was like, I think these are my guys. That's right. <laughs> the uh, Uber guy brought us here. Got the base in the Uber XL and uh, furniture. Yeah. Made it here on time, thank God. So, in terms of the setup, is this your full touring setup, or? It's actually not. We uh, now this summer we started touring with pedal boards and making weird effects and things like that. But uh, just for the sake of space in the Uber XL, we just decided uh -huh. to go fully acoustic here today. Yep. Well, color me impressed. I just think it's like it really shows that you can roll with the punches, and also that you don't really need all this fancy gear to sound good. That's if if. You know, it ends up sounding good, you know. <laughs> Either way, you know, we'll figure out something. Oh, don't be some so humble. Do <laughs> uh, so tell me a little bit about the Mountain Grass Unit and the origin story of you guys coming together. Yeah, so we all went to um, elementary school together, believe it or not. No and way. Grew up playing in a rock band and eventually uh, fell in love with the acoustic side of things and got into a lot of bluegrass. And um, Yeah, we... Uh, it originally started by, we went to Fretted Instruments in Birmingham, and Luke was learning banjo at the time, and I was learning mandolin, and uh, then we got into a rock band with Sam playing the bass guitar, and a yeah, couple other people added to that. Luke actually taught me how to play bass. Um, Aww. Not a very friend well. of ours, knew I had one in my garage, my cousin like tried to play or something, and so I came over, and he was like, all right, and taught me, like, what was it, like, Smoke on the Water or something? <laughs> Pur Purple Haze, maybe? Yeah, something like that, I don't know. I love these references to like uh, to rock, and I've seen some interviews where you're like talking about that you've done ACDC covers, and the fact hearing that you're in a rock band. Like, I want to hear more about that. Like, uh, what's tell me a little bit about the stuff that you're listening to that exists outside of the bluegrass universe. As far as rock goes, uh -huh. modern rock, uh, Marcus or whatever. King, okay, he's one of my favorite guitar players right now. Very influential to me, and then. Like any Southern rock, we love the Almond Brothers. Southern uh, rock, yeah. a lot of jam bands, you yeah. know. The Dead, of course. Um, Goose. What else? Goose. You know, he's uh -huh. displaying the shirt today. And also, as like a as a vocal person, I'm like these vocal chops. Like, what's your background vocally? Is anyone in a choir, or is this is this self taught? Like, you guys are really locked in. For the most part, thank you. Yeah. Um, we uh. We just worked really hard on combining our harmonies and finding a good balance. Yeah. Um, so it's really just about, you know, listening to each other and responding to how the tones of our voices are 
locked in together. Mm-hmm. Well, all the hard work shows off, and yeah, it's great to have you guys in the studio, and I can't, whenever you're ready, you guys can go right into your next couple of songs. Can't wait to hear it. Cool. Thank you. This next one is a tune that we wrote, also on Places I've Been, um, called Same Old Moon. We're going to bring it into an instrumental tune called Boundary Waters. Bottles from the night before. Told my mama I won't be doing that no more. Bought a ticket down to Birmingham. Watched the trees roll by my lonely man. Thunder roars and the clouds began to form. Tucked inside, I feel safe and warm. Without love, we'd lose it all. Look in the mirror, broken glass against the fall. Five bucks in the tip jar with bloody hand. Mr. Ceases, Larry, understand. These day passing at the speed of light Makes me want to reach it every night Building fires till the break of dawn Memories made and memories gone Without love we'd lose it all Look in the mirror, broken glass against the fall Running fast on empty Lesson greed don't tempt me Things just happen like death and doom But in the night just shines that same old moon
<laughs> the Mountain Grass Unit, our melon hearts in the studio here. Mm-hmm. Let's talk a little bit about your guys' record, Places I've Been. Lyrically, there's some really compelling storytelling going on. I want to hear more about Shoot the Gun and Who the Heck Hurt You. Shoot the Gun. Well, you know, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, I don't know if it was anyone specific in mind as much as, you know, a story we'd like to tell. But, yeah, tell, um, tell me about it. I think it'd be more just like Shoot the Gun is like a, it's like a screw it song, you know? It's uh-huh. just kind of like... It's like a push through type song. Yeah, to hell with it sort of thing. Um, it's just about being strong, you know? Mm-hmm. Staying with it and persevering. I'd say that's about it. Okay. Most of these songs we write, and then we're like, okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do with that to make a message out of it. You know? Uh huh. We just kind of threw it together. I guess is how we did it, and uh, it was more with the music intention in mind. Uh, how we made that song, uh, we wanted to be like a strong driver bluegrass song. Just very energetic. Very energetic, mm-hmm. and uh, I think part of shoot the gun is like when we come into that song, you know, it just <laughs> straight in. Right. That's kind of like shooting the gun, I guess. <laughs> uh, how about Jericho? Well, Jericho want... has a little bit more of a specific story. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, okay. So we have, for the past couple years now, we've been doing a backpacking trip. And this past year, we went to the walls of Jericho, hence the name Jericho. And it's like on the Alabama-Tennessee border. You hike down, there's these big cave things. But we have decided the past two years to choose the worst days, like, weather possible so when we went down there well that was two years ago we went but anyways uh flash flood warnings we still decide to get down in there and um it snows and for y'all it's six inches isn't much but for <laughs> us we're in alabama that's like oh my god like six yeah. inches of snow that's, a big like, deal. that's the most snow i've ever seen song worthy yeah and then we got lost down there and it was just the snow covered up the whole trail so yeah. like, we couldn't really figure out how to get our get out of there except for just go you know go up there's no go up the hill <laughs> yeah it was just kind of like all right so guess we hiked it's that way. and our cars were buried completely yeah. um i drive a volkswagen tiguan and i was very worried it wasn't going to make it down that mountain in uh, alabama yeah they had a snow plow out there it's the first time i'd ever seen a snow plow out there. <laughs> come to boston <laughs> um well luckily you guys survived yeah. And it's a it's a really a survival story. I guess so. It, I guess. You know, we were messing around. It was kind of. You know. It was more just kind of like a really fun trip we had and a cool experience. Yeah. And we just kind of wanted to like commemorate. Oh my gosh, that's not right words. Put in a song. Sound it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next question is a segment I like to call mandatory listening. Uh, I want to go around and ask each of you, like for the fans of the Mountain Grass Unit, what is their homework assignment? What's one album that they just absolutely have to listen to? I'm going to say Manzanita by Tony Rice. It's probably um, one of my favorites, all-time favorites. Any record by Tony Rice is good, but that's definitely a good mix of bluegrass and kind of like jazz grass. And, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I'd probably say the original David Grisman Quintet album for more like jazzy bluegrass progressive stuff but i'm also a really big fan of like americana music so i'd also have to say on top of that um jason isbell's southeastern album is one of my all-time favorites mm. i'd probably have to say right now i've been really digging that can i take my hounds to heaven album by tyler childers because i think it's really cool how he like takes the same song and does it in different ways and like we do a lot of covers and we try to like take those songs like you mentioned we did rock stuff uh-huh. we take those songs we play with our rock band and then change them a little bit kind of like he does with his songs so i guess that would be an example of how we do that well you heard it here listen to these albums they're gonna write a song about you um okay my last question for you guys what's next for the mountain grass unit uh we're, we're on tour this summer hopefully and then, get our uh, van back get <laughs> our van back yeah. shout out to robert at firestone for uh, hooking us up with those with those tires and then we're going to hopefully get down to Michigan and head down the East Coast and get done with our first leg, and then uh, we'll start heading out west for our second leg. Can fans expect some more music soon? Is writing writing in your future? we got a couple songs that we don't have out right now and may release an EP coming up here in the next year, may not. We'll see what happens, I guess. We'll see. No promises. Well, either way, <laughs> you guys better stay out of the snow, all right? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try. We would have been totally <laughs> bummed that day if we had to stay and camp one more day. It would have oh, just, that would have been, God, terrible, that would have been right? a bummer. 
Okay, well, it's been a pleasure to have you guys. Whenever you're ready, you can go rip into your last couple of songs. All right, sure. I guess I should also say this, this song's about, uh, this song's called Shay's Rebellion, and it's about the historical event, Shay's Rebellion. Well, come and pay the man above me How much so will this new plan No my crib on my takes a beat And load I'll be buried in this cold no other ground Well, my family provide to the living Takes every single dollar and it's tied to a ball and chain. Well, I'm going to town to San Cedar and I can't see if I can get their bell to ring. The truth right out of you. See the man takes every single dollar and a tied to a ball and chain. Well, I'm going town to sense it all out. I can't see if I can't get their bell to ring. Look at Apple Music and Spotify and look at all that. This is our, uh, I guess, most listened to song. Um, this is one that Sam brought to the band a couple of years ago, and it's off our first EP. It's the title track. It's called Where I Land. Hope you enjoy.
heartbreak will wear the same. Life's an anchor that's tied to fuck. You know he slammed like no one could. Cut the rope and he rose right up. To life that's full of love. Say I don't know where I'm going, where this trail is going to head. I take one leap at a time now, not knowing. up our audio tree live session with the mountain grass unit thanks again for coming in guys thanks so much for having us yeah i want to give a big thank you to the talented people behind the scenes who make this happen the lighting and camera crew with its sound engineers and to you guys watching at home thanks for tuning in the session you just heard is available right now through your favorite streaming platform through the audio tree artist profile so please follow us over there and please subscribe to us here on youtube as well and please support the band, follow them on social media, and make sure you see them when they come into your city. I have a feeling this is even their full potential. Uh, from all of us here at the Audio Tree Studio, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> all right, so you guys want to do it for real now?